So you're having trouble setting up the shear on your roof panel machine. Watch this video and we'll show you how. Nate Rawson with New Tech Machinery here. And in today's video, we're gonna show you how to set up the shear for your one and a half mechanical roofing profile, or what we call the SS150. Before we get started, we wanna make sure that we install our lockout tagout system prior to removing the safety covers. As always, whenever working with a shear, we wanna make sure that we're working on the outside of the shear or the inside of the shear, but never through the shear. And notice the warning label that we have here. So first of all, we're gonna to need to have a half inch socket. And I prefer to use a quarter inch drive for this process. And you're also gonna need a 9 16th socket. So now that we've disabled our lockout tagout system, we first want to run a sample piece through the roll foam. And we'll bring that to about six inches from the shear. Then power down our roll former and reinstall our lockout tagout system. First thing we want to do is install the entry side shear dies. And we're going to put the screws in finger tight so we can adjust it later. And we'll do that on both sides. So you'll notice that this blade is a little bit different than all these other blades. So this blade is interchangeable and it is profile specific. So for the SS150, we're using this blade, which is the standard number one blade. So we do the, the same thing on the outside and we're really just eyeballing this to line up these dies to the panel. Once we bring the panel through the shear, we'll put them exactly where they go. And so we'll do the same thing on the left side. Now we're ready to run the panel through the shear, set the uh, precise adjustment for the shear dies. Re-engage our lockout tag out. So what we want is a little bit of daylight in between the die and the leg around the perimeter of the outside of the panel. And there's also the bottom of the shear die. So we gotta make sure that we keep the shear the bottom of the shear level with the panel. And the way we do that is we make the adjustment by loosening this bolt. And then there's a jack screw underneath that will help us raise or lower the shear. And what we want is just a hair of daylight or 1 32nd of clearance below the panel and the bottom of the shear die. And that works on both sides. This screw, this jack screw, you screw that in, it'll let that shear go down or up if you back it off. And then we tighten up those bolts. And we're also gonna use the outside die to line up the inside die. So when we set the inside dies, we wanna set them slightly closer to the panel than the outside, because what we wanna do is make sure that when the panel comes through the shear, it doesn't collide with the outside shear die. Okay, so one thing that's very important with the alignment of the upper blade. Now we have this long angle that we wanna make sure the point of it lines inside this leg, okay? But at the same time, on the left side, we wanna make sure that we're catching the angle of that blade with this vertical part of this leg. So we may have to slide this left or right to accommodate that situation. So you have to loosen up these seven bolts and slide whichever way you need to to make sure that you have this alignment here and make sure that you refer to our manual for the exact description for the profile that you're using. One thing that's very important is to lubricate the shear blade with Super Lube Synthetic Spray just about every 30 cuts. And then front and back. Remember, whenever the machine is powered up to make sure to keep your hands away from the shear. Do a test cut. Let's do one more test cut. So if you want to learn more about how to use your panel machine, click the link below to check out our learning center. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.